Hey YouTube, today we're going to take a look at this gravity feed attachment I have mounted on my work table here. It's basically just two arms, the top arms attached to the table and the bottom arm is attached via that bolt which is what we're going to call zero and the bottom arm is 50 inches long with a scale that runs from zero to 100 equally spaced marks each one's a half inch there's a little safety latch at the end that keeps it from dropping and the top arm here it's got a bunch of holes just to make it easier to move those pulleys around and note that line is at 50 percent mark now there's a bag of weight hanging off the bottom arm I got a can of beans in there or something. It's around 400 grams. Now we're gonna align the wing blocks to the table. So there's a center line that I mentioned before and there's a line where running parallel that's marked on that tape. There's a center line and stick on some weight. Now we're just gonna attach the, uh, the templates here to the leading edge mark. When you're putting in these pins, try to keep it straight or even angled down a bit. You don't want the pins going up into the travel of the wire as, it, as it's coming through. And that piece of wood that it's resting on here, it's just there to keep everything propped up off the table so the bow doesn't hit the table. That template's got a little tape on the end, on the trailing edge, just to... I need a little bit more height, so it was a fine adjustment I had to make. And we're just pinning it up. So now we're ready to set the ratio for this, for the uh, arm. I'm just gonna put the bow in a position in the middle take our feed string over to the long side of the wing block run that line parallel and the long side always goes to the hunter position always we don't know what the short side is going to be yet so I'm just going to put this line there Temporarily position it so I can take a measurement and I'll do some math with the difference. So we're just going to measure from that back parallel line to the uh, hot wire. On the long side, I came up with 180 millimeters, and the short side was 144. So a little math. 144 divided by 180 is 0.79. Well, anyways, I just rounded it up to 0.8, which is represented by the 80 mark on the bottom arm. So clamp it right there. And we're all ready to go. So we got our everything set up. It's a bottom cut, so we're going to have to push the leading edge down a bit to make it down that hill. Let's go, okay, we're all going, and, uh, something, you know what happened, I forgot to unlatch it, like an idiot, so, when you're doing this, don't do that. So anyways, no big deal. We just made a couple of new blocks, and here we go again. Oh, just a different view of it from the top. Hit the power, push it down a bit for the leading edge, and let it go. What I'm looking for here is that it exits evenly at the back. And I'm looking at it, and I can tell the short side's a little bit too fast, so I'll make an adjustment. So that was the bottom cut. I'm just going to take these out the bottom templates here and put on the top ones line up that leading edge mark again to the 
leading edge mark on the block. Okay, we're all ready to go. So we're going to start with the feed line on the long side. I just clamp on my feed line onto the wire. Down parallel to the block around that pulley, over that pulley, and clamp that 100. And the short side, we're just going to make a little speed adjustment for that. Um, I just dropped down to, I believe, 78. Just to slow it down a touch. And we're all ready to go. And wait. Don't forget about that latch. Right. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to go. So we're just going to hit the power button here. You don't have to hold down the bow for the leading edge cut because gravity is on our side. It's going uphill. And we're watching for that trailing edge to come out nice and even. And it looks pretty good. And that's a nice cut. Okay. Let's see what we have. Unbox this thing. We're looking for a nice finish on the top and the bottom. Super nice thin trailing edge. No burnouts. Oh, look at that nice. The top looks nice, flawless. The leading edge looks good. It has to be sanded anyway, so it's okay. The bottom looks immaculate. And look at that camber. Wow. Okay, guys. <laughs> Hope you like the content. If you do, please drop us a like, comment, sub. Do your thing. You know what to do. And, uh, alright. Sunny skies to everybody. And, uh, happy flying. See you later.